Miranda. Physical on. Hello. We're live. Hey. Hey, Facebook. How's everybody doing this evening? How's your Sunday going? I hope your week has been okay last week and going into this next week. I hope you all have a blessed and prosperous week. This Friday coming up is my birthday. Hey. Hey. <laughs> I'll be turning 25. Hey. <laughs> so I'm not really understanding how she can be the same age as her nephew, but okay. as you don't even think about it. Is is you? You? <laughs> okay, that's what I'm talking about. What well, she means is she'll be turning 25 again. Oh, oh, okay. okay. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes. Um, but if, if you all wouldn't mind, if you haven't uh signed up for my YouTube channel, check me out at Miranda, that's M-I-R-A-N-D-A, Miranda Hart, the number two, and Hart, that's my YouTube channel. Also, check out the Sisters Inspiring Sisters page, that's another Facebook group where we have daily motivational memes that will help you. Today's video is about dating. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? For those that are not married, that are single and currently looking for a relationship or looking for a mate or partner, we're going to talk about what it's like to date and some of the obstacles that we come across with uh, the dating scene and give us your feedback. Put your comments in the comment section. Ask us questions. Give us your feedback throughout the video. So, Alika, let's get this started. So, I'm Alika. I'm Brigida. That's that's <laughs> Katasha. <laughs> she's, she's all smiles today. On, I'm really on level ten. Um, really on level ten, but you know, hey, it is what it is. Down, bring it down. Right now, so, down. Let's bring it down. <laughs> what we really want to talk about um, is how how do we feel about online dating? Are you comfortable? Are you skeptical? Um, if so, what makes you leery? Do you think that you can find your soulmate um, on Facebook with the uh, given way of how social media runs now? It seems to be a lot more people are meeting one another on dating apps through Facebook, social media. Um, social media, you know, period. So chime in, let us know how you feel about it. Um, yeah, what do you think about it? I am very skeptical of online dating. And why is that? I don't know. I just, I, I guess I'm kind of old fashioned and I believe in, you know, meeting somebody at the movies, at the grocery store, <laughs> right? You know, at the gas station, right? somewhere, coffee shop, something, a church. Well, I can't say church. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to go to church? Why not church? Because when I go to church, I'm not looking, I'm trying to get a word. Okay. I'm not okay. looking for a man. I don't but maybe sometimes my word is, hey, can I take you out to dinner? It okay. might be. I'm, not, I'm okay. not closing the door, door to church. Okay. That's why okay. I mentioned okay. church. I mean, because you want, you know, I'm looking for a godly person. Right. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. Understood. So, on Monday, since that's what we're talking about, do you think that it could be... I guess, I don't know, how personal. I think people, when you're online and you're communicating online, that you can have, like, keyboard warriors where they can say anything. Yes, you know I mean? and they can woo you and they yeah. can do all of that. Absolutely, you anything. Might, and, you might get a picture from 10 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> now, that is like, so true. That's true, true. right here. That's true. That's true. Those pictures can be misleading. Yes, yes. And then we, you all know, we, we put our best pictures. Mm -hmm. When we're, we're, we're putting pictures online, we put You mean, put you mean they don't want to show all they sexy, all they yeah. thickness, all they little jelly rolls oh, and all that? <laughs> I'm going to be the first person you catch every one of these jelly rolls, stretch marks, all that. <laughs> all that. Like this, oh, no. <laughs> but I think that um, I, 
do think that online dating conversation, going back to what you said, communicating with key girl, keyboard warriors, I'm always going to be a firm believer to say that your word of mouth tells you any and everything about a person. So if you're typing your thoughts into the computer, you can read right through those top thoughts just as if you were having a conversation with that person. You can pick up on the crazy if you pay attention. You can pick up on the not so real, all of that. I mean, I dated online. It's not a fascination to me because I dated online through Black Planet eons ago. You know what I mean? Like before dating online became the thing. So I met some nice guys on dating online and, and I'm still friends with some of these guys to this day. And, you know, I guess it's, you've got to be cautious and you have to be skeptical in everything you do. It doesn't matter if you meet them in person, restaurant, grocery store. Now, I'll be honest with you. Take you out to a scenario. I met a guy in the grocery store. Oh, sister, you so fine. You this, you that. Oh, thank you, sir. Can I, can I take you out? Can I talk to you? Sure, can. Oh, meet me at the park. Let's go for a walk. Okay, how you doing? Da -da -da -da. Oh, yeah, by the way, I'm married, but I'm separated. Really? Why didn't you disclose this information ahead of time? So meeting them in person versus online, to me, is not a difference. I think online it gives way to a little more of, of deception about yeah. a person. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because you got a lot of married men, you got a lot of married women that are online dating. They're on there for a conversation. Exactly. So, and then for single people like, like we are, it, it kind of sets you up for mm -hmm. a failing situation mm -hmm. in someone that you are in. Mm -hmm. Now, online dating, mm -hmm. I will have to say that mm -hmm. I, I tried it once or twice. Mm -hmm. um, you do meet some crazy people. Mm -hmm. You meet a lot of crazy people. I mm -hmm. met a, a police officer. I will disclose no names. <laughs> he was crazier than crazy. Mm, wow. And um, it was a quick exit. It was a quick thanks, but no thanks. Mm. You know, and then you do meet other people that you end up being friends with, opposed to finding that love, love relationship. It's not been a successful thing for me. Okay. Um, I think primarily because I'm old fashioned and I, I want to go on dates. Right. And I don't want to do the text mess, the texting and... So we're talking about, we're not just necessarily talking about dating online, we're talking about dating in general. Um, talk about crazy of the crazy. I think we've all experienced it. I just don't know how to combat it, you know what I'm saying? But I do definitely pay attention to the word. So like, what kind of online, besides everybody knows, like Facebook has turned into this fester of of online dating, which that, it, it shouldn't there. I don't believe it was for that purpose yeah. Yeah. to communicate, but yeah. you can't help but to get, to get those inboxes. I mean, and I see you hi, and what's your name, <laughs> and hey, can you call me? I mean, now when somebody just sends you a telephone number, you know. You or when they like, just call you through Facebook, yeah. we think that's rude, we think that's, that's very totally rude. disrespectful, and we wish you would stop. <laughs> we wish you would stop. So, Disclaimer, we're not therapists. <laughs> we're here to talk about real life issues. <laughs> real people, real life. Real people, real life. Real life. Real life. But you know, you find Make sure that the communication is warranted. You hear me? That is for sure. But oftentimes, yeah, but when they can only uh, text you or write you on Messenger and you can't call them. <laughs> hey, it's like that. It's like that big red stop it's button. A red flag. Block. Big bait block. Right. Look, before you block. even call, make sure that that open that line, that way of communicating is you know wanted. There's so many, <laughs> and not to be funny, but you 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 guys have been reached out to through Facebook, um, through even through this Love You More. Um, if you meet somebody through Love You More, so be it. I would only say be cautious, be skeptical, and always have. Just, you know, when you start to, when you begin to discern something, pay attention to whatever is being discerned, you know, and just, you got to. <clears throat> I've heard some good stories, though, about online dating. Like, I've heard of 
some couples that are married and they met their husband online mm -hmm. and they have some healthy marriages. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I think whether it's online or in person, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes people that really don't care for mm -hmm. online dating, there are some people that shun against it mm -hmm. um, because they feel like if you're meeting somebody online, the only people you're meeting is creeps. That's mm -hmm. not the case for every situation. Yeah. There are scenarios I've where, seen this situation yeah, also. where people are actually connecting with, uh, you know, with good people, with good people mm -hmm. and they're getting married and they're happy. Yep. You know, just because you live in a city of Indianapolis doesn't mean that everybody here in Indianapolis, husband or wife, is here in Indianapolis. Your yes, husband or wife no. might be in no. California. So no. they hire you. But hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> I'm just throwing that out there. And on, the, on topic today, Yolanda, we're just talking about dating in general, um, online dating. Hey, D, I'm going to read your message that you left. D Smith said it exactly. People lie in person and online. Always. Um, she said it's important to meet people sooner than later so that you don't get caught up in the tone mm. and poise you think mm. that they are using. Mm -hmm. um, you definitely need to see and feel what their demeanor is. Mm -hmm. so, and that's true. Mm -hmm. That's absolutely true. Sooner than later, I, I completely agree with mm -hmm. you. You know, because there's a certain there's a certain level of discernment when you mm -hmm. meet somebody for the first time. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, I mean, I knew. Okay, this is somebody that potential mm -hmm. that I could want to explore to yeah, be okay. in my life. What is, and you know, going into today, you know, since we're talking about dating, what is your potential? What What is that potential person that you want to date? What are What are for what are, me? Yeah, what are some of the questions that you want to ask a person oh. that you're interested in dating? Oh, honey, like I if you had know. an application that you had. Yeah, you're running down. Yeah, you're running down. Well, well, if well, you well, had an app on it. Yes, what would be um, some of those, those qualifications? Well, you, one thing that I always ask, y'all know my favorite question to ask me, uh, what's your relationship like with your mama? That's my first question, because okay. how you treat that's your mama is how you treat, treat your mama. Yes. And yes. so I ain't trying to be in that type of relationship, that type of thing, if you ain't got a real relationship with, mm -hmm. with her. Now, then the second one is, I want to know that you know how to, number one, you got your stuff on track. Uh -huh. You know how to manage money. That's important, whether it's because, and I, and I say this so genuinely, because I don't want to be in a relationship or any type of situation with somebody that is bad with, with money management. Mm -hmm. I really don't. Um, knowing that you have your own or you on your way to getting your own or you got a plan to get your own. Mm -hmm. so some vision. Vision. vision, some vision. type of vision, yes. you gotta have one. Uh -huh. You got a five year plan, you got a 10 year plan, which short term, short term, long term, let's talk through this. Yes. Let's know these things about uh -huh. you, know thyself first, because that's what he gotta know who he is. Okay, mm -hmm. okay, before I do. Okay, you have to share with me who you are. So on the video that you sent on Love You More earlier, the pastor was talking about right. Do you have a job, Yolanda? I'm with you. That's right. <laughs> you got a job. You got a job. <laughs> 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. It has to be legal. It has okay. to be legal. Yeah. Okay. So go ahead and link it back to what you were saying. <laughs> the pastor was talking about why should you lower your standards mm -hmm. and he made he made a great point and an awesome example that you should never have to lower your standards if anything for you to meet my standards you should get a nose a nosebleed right is that right. what he said that's right. what he said right my, sometimes when i say i should never have to lower my standards somebody will look at you and say the many your standards are too high more like the male figure will come, or the opposite sex will come and say, maybe your standards are too high. Oh, my standards are what the interpretation that I feel they are for myself. Right. Not what you think they should be. Right. If you feel like you want to judge this book by that cover, then by all means, you go right ahead. Right. I don't owe you an explanation. I only owe the man upstairs an explanation. And I really don't owe him one because he sees what I'm doing at all times. Period. Right. So no lowering standards. No, that's but that's one of the that's a, that's life. something that she said for herself in dating, mm -hmm. which I would have to agree with that. I don't think you should have to lower your standards if you believe that this is the type of person that I want in my life, and I'm not settling for anything less than that. Then 
by all means, by all means, that's what you find. That's what, because you attract what you are, right? Right. And so if you have set those same standards for yourself, then that's what you're going to attract ultimately. Mm -hmm. Then you should be trying to become the person that you want to be. Mm -hmm. yeah. Absolutely. Don't, you know, don't have your expectations for the next person higher than what you have for yourself. Dorothy Absolutely. Johnson says, does his member work? Does his member work? All right, Dorothy, we got you. Okay. We heard that. Okay. Now that is important. 